Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome to Sensorium, an open world puzzle game about the five senses. Sight, sound, touch, smell, and taste. Boy, I can't wait to taste these puzzles. I don't really know too much else about it, so, but the idea intrigued me, so I thought it'd be fun. Spooky. Okay. <laughs> I'm expecting to use all my senses here. Not using much of my sight currently. Unless if the puzzle is to get out of the room. This is really touchy. I adjusted some settings. Why do I move so fast? I'm not even sprinting! You can fall off platforms in this game. Well, there's a switch over there. I think the overall goal is to escape. Let me hit the switch. And that's up and over there, so I can't see it. Well, let's go see. Whee! Alright, two buttons. It's an AND gate. Logic puzzles. We're really making sure we know the AND gates. All right. I don't know where that yellow line goes. Just follow the lines. Press the button. It's a... Ah, oh, there's a, a... A knot? I forget what the... Is there even a name for a thing that switches the value? Either way, it's just simple logic puzzles right now. Open the gates. So, we don't press this one, but we do press this one. And then we we do press this one and not this one. And now the yellow line is open. Follow the line. Alright, we've made it. We've escaped the world. And we're rewarded with more logic puzzles. Again, more not gets. Just turn that off and now it's on. Turn this on and then on and then on. And follow the logic. Big door up there. Alright, what's on the other side? Something over here? They're just really making sure we know the logic. So there's a not not. Okay. Okay. We don't want that gate on, but we want this on, and it's all on. Simple so far. Maybe maybe I could explain my thought process further, but I don't think there's a need. Sun looks pretty sweet. Ignore that. That gesture meant nothing. Very pretty. Oh, it's the giant head. I saw the head in the the uh, video for this. I also saw around the head. There's a few things I can interact with. There's this. But then there's five crosses, it looks like. So one for each of the five senses. Alright, let's check this out. Huge area, actually. Oh, what's this first? Oh, good God. Oh, I see. So this only works if this line is on. So it's an elevator. And oh, we got to do all these rooms. Because I saw there was an open room over here. And they all have lines to them. So we have to do all of these rooms. All right. Well, it's a 4x4 four four grid. And I see that there's a 4x4 four four grid on the, on the floor with the middle four raised. All right. It's a good start. So yeah, it's the vision ro room. Oh god, what is raised here? Oh, maybe it's not about what's raised, but the line itself is on some of these tiles. I like it if it's that. Very nice. <laughs> cool. Let's check out this puzzle. Well, the line goes around this time, so... Is there anything special about any of these tiles? I wonder, though, if it looks something like this. If I had to imagine how the line itself would move, it'd be like this. No, no, no. Let's keep looking. Maybe there's something on the ceiling. There's this up here. Just look around and the answer will be found. Very nice. Next room. Part of the way there. All the way down here. What's that door? Why aren't you open? There are four puzzles. Well, it looks like it's just... When I said four, I meant three. I'm looking at the triangles directly above the things, and I thought these two would go together because the triangles look the same. These triangles don't look the same, but here's the thing, actually. All three of the triangles above what I thought were the codes look exactly the same. Oh, but then the triangles above the actual input boards are different. So this is probably like rotational, maybe kind of rotational and mirrored. And this one's smaller. 
So what I'm wondering is if we want like a small version of this. So maybe this? <laughs> it's a small version. Okay, well then how does this work? It's rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise and mirrored across the board. It would look something like this. No? That's because it's wrong. Silly. Um, we get rid of this, put this here. There we go. And then it's rotated... It's rotated 90 degrees clockwise, and then everything that isn't a square here becomes a square here. Or everything that isn't indicated here is indicated here. Funny. So it looks like this. And then... That. Sweet! That was a cool, cool room. Next door. Oh boy, lots of different colors. Three different colors, and there's... Oh. Oh, I see. Now, I think it's additive colors that we gotta do. Like, to get to white, we need to add all three colors. But to get to black, we want none of them. So let's start with the just blues. Or actually, let's just start with blue. So we gotta get to white, and I saw that blues were these three. Now there's another white in the top right. And then things that we add white to. So I think it's the cyan's for sure. And pink? Isn't pink just red plus white? Well, I guess it could be red and blue. I don't know how additive light works. Well, I, okay, that is right. I'm glad it tells me. Okay, that makes life a little easier. I can do reds now. These are all just reds. And then we had to get the pinks, and then the whites, and then red plus yellow. No, red plus green gets me yellow. There we go, and green isn't too bad. Uh, just memorize it real quick. Okay, gotcha. Looks something like... I think I missed one. Oh, yeah, the science. I forgot about the science. I memorized everything but the science. There we go. Additive colors. What is this spill outside the door? Why are these doors not opening? Some of them not opening really makes me worried. Oh, funny. This looks like a large maze. Hmm. Well, it's a large 3x3. Three three. I'm not sure where the code for this would be. What about this line? Yeah, I don't understand this maze one. I'll be back. I'll check out this room over here. Got 18 switches on the floor. Well, what's this? I see. It's probably the pattern I have to put in. But hold on. I see these stairs here. And I see the window that peers over to this room. Oh, you can see on top. It's an L piece and then one in the corner. That's the code. Oh, and then the light itself shows what to put in here. I'll do this before I leave. It says... You. Okay, well, this one I remember. Just leave in the L piece and then leave in the back corner. Except I did the L piece wrong. It's not this one, but this one. Very fun. Moving on. What's with the... Oh, I gotta go into here to open this door, I see. Oh, it's the logic puzzles again? Okay. We gotta push this. And then push these. Turning that on. It's very simple logic puzzling. I'm not sure what the white switches are. Maybe they're just invisible. Maybe, maybe like, you just can't see the stuff go through them. Yeah, okay. They, they just hide the flow of the wire. I, I was tricking myself into thinking it was something much more complicated. Oh, so now it just really hides the flow of the wire. I know I have to do this one. And then I know I have to do this one. And then I know I have to do this one right here. And then here's the thing. So neither of the top two are on. Which is good because it gets reversed afterwards, so we want it off. But then this one here, I guess, needs to go through two not gates. So I need to press this. Now it works. So that that makes sense, I guess. According to this, two rooms to go. No, I came from there. All right, what's this? Just the four by four. The code could be given outside the room. There's an X. Oh, we have to stand on the X. Ah. Oh, and there's the code up there. 
an L piece, a two, and a one. All right, they're all just separated, so it looks like this, the two, and the one. All right. Oh, that's all of them. Wait, no, my elevator. Oh, come back. All right, there we go. You're back. Thank you. Glass automatic. Up we go. What's at the top? Nobody knows. A big puzzle. Huh. What an interesting symbol. All right. What does it do? Okay, let's see if I can find... Oh, there's the code. That's the code right there. It has to be. How would I do it? It's a totally different set of dots. I don't think I'm supposed to think that's outside the box. Wait a second. Oh, new idea, new idea. These are the rooms. I'm supposed to press the rooms that were actually entered. Okay. So all of them were entered except for the third from the top. And then all except for the right two. And then over here, all except for the bottom and the top two. Oh, sweet. Cool meta puzzle. It lights up too. <laughs> I like it, I like it. Does it do anything? Well, it lights up the crosses. Oh, the crosses that were by the head. All right, well, on to the next section. Oh, all right, in this area I found a thing with three numbers? Not numbers, a code or something. Okay, I guess three things need to be complete before opening this door. Um, or, or I guess I could push a, um, them in a certain order. One, two, three. No, I need to know a code. Also, the floor here is blue. Was there a blue cross? I mean, even if there was, I don't know what blue actually means here. Oh, another one of these things. Oh, it's sound puzzles. They all play different pitches. Ah, well, let me hear. Bum, bum, bum. Sound puzzles. Okay, so that's what that is. It's a sound puzzle. The sound logic puzzle? No, it's a gate that switches every few uh, beats. Or every, every now and then. So this is on. And then this is going to be on not often because there's another thing I need to turn on. Just memory. I memorized it wrong. It was like this. What? Oh, son of a. I was not paying attention. Just memorized the puzzle. So this is open like half the time and it just takes me up. What about this? Maybe this can help me. Okay, that's the cat one. So this is going to make a cat noise. All right, then I have to listen for what this was. Okay, it's the same puzzle as before. It's just soft, soft, middle, loud, soft, mid. Oh, okay, hold on. Yeah, she's middle, soft, loud, soft, mid. There we go. All right, up here, another animal memory puzzle. Oh, it's these sounds. Ah, oh, two of them are so similar. Okay, red is the barrel. And then it's like high at blue, middle at yellow, low at purple. What? See, I think it's this way. I thought it was the middle sound. Is it really the low one? Okay, I know where this way is. Okay, probably this way. And this way. Yep. Yep. This way. Yep. Now, now I think that's the high one. I think that's the low one. And I think that's the high one. And the low one. And the high one. I'm just zigzagging. And 
the low one. And the low one. And I'm out. Well, okay then. I think I beat the section. Now that I'm out here. There's a blue cross, so... Oh my god! <laughs> uh, cool, cool look. So blues are sound puzzles. Not gonna lie, the sound puzzles were mostly memory puzzles. I don't think I'll be showing most of them. But at least I got it done. Well, there was this section over here. Now I know what this thing is. At least maybe there's something interesting inside. Oh. I know what this means, at least. I gotta go find the cat noise and remember that pattern. Uh, this shouldn't take too long. So this was the one that was all one note. What I'm wondering is if I have to want to memorize the the uh, volumes and translate that to different notes, or if I just play one note. It's mid, low, high, low, mid. Mid, low, high, low, mid. Oh, yeah, okay. Mid, low, high, low, mid. All right. There's a green room in here. Probably with more memory. Mm. <laughs> what the hell is this? I guess I got a whiff of that good shit in the previous room. That's way too long. Oh, there probably is a place to input this. I just haven't found it yet. What I'm curious about is whether it changed anything in the head. Yeah, okay. The ears lit up. Oh, okay, now I actually see the things on the head correlate different colors. Uh, vision's yellow. Smell is, um, okay, smell is uh, green. I couldn't remember the color. Taste is purple and touch is red. Okay, well, I know what we're all wondering. What the hell is a taste puzzle? Let's, uh, let's go purple. Yes. We have reached delicious land. What the? Take a ball? <laughs> Excuse me? So this is, okay, this is probably a taste, right? It's a, it's a sour taste. It's a fruity sour taste. Blueberries are sour? Oh, it's another memory puzzle. But this time there's like a theme because they kind of have some sort of theme together. Right, it's memory with the theme of taste. So as long as you can associate certain tastes in your mind, you might be all right. This has nothing to do with taste. Actually, no, I guess I could spell a word. What is this? Cake. Strangest looking cake I've ever seen. Very strange. Well, what's over here? A triangle star. Or triangle plus. Something tells me these have nothing to do with taste. But the only one we can see is a star. Oh, but then some fell. There's a minus that fell. I don't know what this is and I can't interact with it. Oh! What am I doing? These are the shapes. I'm dumb. Minus. S triangle. Square. Plus, okay. I don't know how I didn't see the balls. You're supposed to turn off your vision for this section, of course. Okay, just a bunch of letters. What am I trying to make? I'm trying to make cake. Something tells me these letters lie. Well, let's see. A, K. It's F and L. Yeah. The, remember when I played Factory with an I? Yeah, that game taught me a thing or two about combining letters. All right, well, I beat the taste area. All right, next I'm gonna do is a green section, which I'm pretty sure is smell. I don't know what, bleh, I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's trippy, that's for sure. I don't think I can use this right now. Well, anyways, let's carry on. <laughs> let's smell some puzzles. Just want a good, Oh, is that what's happening? You follow the scent. 
<laughs> I am smelling real good right now. Do I go this way? Oh, what? Oh, I'm not sure then. It seems like maybe it's only by these... In between these green flowers? Because these are all white and they don't smell. What about these yellow flowers? Ah. Get a good sniff of the colored flowers. Gotta get up there. Oh, there's plenty more here. Ah, oh, yeah, it smells so good. All right. Let's head in. Oh, what the? It is dark here? I know it's not. What? What? Did this just loot me? I ran all the way through here to warp me back to the entrance. I thought I smelled all the flowers. Well, I guess the sign out in front did have five steps. So maybe it had something to do with that. And I was tripping balls while reading the sign. So maybe it had something to do with the flowers. So one pace forward, four paces right, two paces forward, left one, and then up one. It's probably a guess. Let's see if that works. Or it could come down here. <laughs> um, uh, this is one thing to do. It's a big room there. There's actually nothing down here. Very strange. Somehow there's nothing down here. But there's more. Oh, there's a yellow cross. Maybe a... Oh. Oh, it's a big logic puzzle. Okay. All simple enough. Oh, it's a timed puzzle. What? It's a timed puzzle. Go fast. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, you have to go really fast. And you have to, like, undo the previous ones. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. Okay. The, the issue is I want to press these buttons, but the buttons block me from seeing what's going on. Okay. <laughs> go fast. Get it done. You can do it. Okay, I guess I found a different place to look. I shouldn't be looking at the blue wires. I should just be looking at the the yellow, um... I don't even know what to call them. Like, semicircles or something? Okay, I did it. I beat the times puzzle. Oh, no. Oh, no? Can I manipulate this? I can't manipulate this. What is this thing? I see buttons up there. It says where something is. So, I think what it's telling me is there's like a set of eight somewhere and then this you start on the left follow the lines and then see which buttons are lit up and then whichever of these buttons are lit up are the ones i push in this area so i'm not even going to think about this until i find this thing and decode exactly what this map is because it doesn't l look like my area but i guess i hadn't paid that close attention to the area itself well this was interesting now it's time to go back to sniffing things. Up one. Over one, two, three, four. Up two. And over one, up one. I mean, cool, it takes me here. All right, here's my hypothesis Hypothesis for this section. I bet because, like, at the beginning of the green section, it did this trippy thing and then told me how to get from green to yellow. What if there's something in the yellow section that tells me how to get from yellow to, well, whatever the hell the next puzzle is. So that means I have to leave here? Find the yellow hint? Oh, that means I also have to go back to that blue hint. Oh, then I have to write stuff down? Oh, eat my ass. Well, I'm gonna try it anyways. Let's see what I can find. It was this. Oh, look at this. There's a D-pad. Ah, so this is the path I'm supposed to take from the blue section. So it's up, up, right, 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 down, right, up, right, right. That's the path. Of course, I didn't find the one in the yellow section, but I guess I should look for just a bonus puzzle. Oh, well, well look at this. Oh, wait, there's a couple rooms that opened here. And then there was the spillage room. Ah, it's the path I must take. Oh, but look at this. This path has to be rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise. So it's left, wait, left, 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 down, down, 
left, left, up, 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 left. I made it back to the trumpet room. It's got a green floor. Oh, and it just draws out a path. Okay, so it is one, two, three, four, right, down, right, up to. Okay, and now just the red sections. All right, I finally found the green room in this section. So you have to imagine how the box would slide, and that's the path you take. You can't interact with it, but I see. So it's two down, two right, three up, two right, one up, four left. Okay. All right, I've got the entire maze in front of me. It's time to follow it. Down, right, and then up two, and this should be good. Ah, very nice. Very nice. All right. Well, this is the last of the basic sections. It's time to go check on the head. All right, all five senses have been activated. This is a living, feeling head who looks fabulous, by the way. A little button out in front. And it shall ascend. All right, goodbye. What does this do? Oh, it sends me down. Oh, so it begins. We, we only beat the tutorial, I think. Well, that seems like a good spot to wrap it up. Um, I don't think the tutorial puzzles were all that good, but I'm excited to see what the rest of the game holds. I, uh, sorry, not all of them were good. There were just some very boring puzzles, but now? Well, who knows what's gonna happen. I'm excited to see what there is. <laughs> this game is massively opened up, so uh, yeah. I'll see you guys all on the other side. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.